Ahoy there, mateys. Welcome back, Mon here. Awesome. So we're going to be having a look at Dredge. Uh, Dredge is more than just your typical fishing game. It is something that has stuck with me since I played the demo. It is awesome. It's thrilling solo adventure that will keep you hooked. As we sell our catch, uh, upgrade the boats, and we'll venture out into murky depths in search of lost treasures and dark secrets. But beware, this archipelago is full of surprises and some secrets are better left buried. We're not going to do that, are we? So let's get ready to cast our lines and discover what lies beneath the surface in Dredge. Angler wanted. Oh dear. I have so missed this game. All right, so the morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Great Tomorrow, I must say. Quite a dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah oh well, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few locals move your things into one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep your, a close eye on the time. It can really creep up on you. Interesting use of words. I so love this. Okay, so I know this does have full controller support. We may move closer to that, but for the time being, I can't wait. This is so much fun. Okay, so we roll just and then let's start fishing blue mackerel love this game I can't wait to Kind of just vamp up, upgrade, because I know in the demo, obviously, none of the upgrades were available. And they're kind of, oh, we don't have one for that. We don't have equipment yet. What we do for this one. Well, that sucks. We must start another one. Yeah, only time advances when you're moving, fishing, or taking other specific actions. Okay, we can't fish there. I'm seeing something shiny, so I think we'll go to the bottle. We'll read it now. How oh, cute, our light's on. Okay, let's go to the cabin and messages. Okay, morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Great Marrow. I love the rocks here, the layers and colors are so striking. 
Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Old Riches was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic. Lunch. I can see the basket half-hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Cool. Okay, let's get our fishing on. Beated. It's unfortunate. Okay, so the fog is rolling in. Kill. Oof. This fog is so eerie, it's not fun. Okay, exposure to fog, fog and other things increase your panic. Oh, I didn't get that in time. Oh, well. Okay, you step into the dock at Greater Mary the Mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I am more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. Understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market paying off your debt and in turn keeping the population fed and satisfied. Understood? Selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt. Got it. Well, off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. Certainly, fishmonger. You entered a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of the fish fills the air. Flies buzz half hazardly around a dark cast man behind the counter. Oh. You're the new fisherman, hey? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What's your name? There's no sense getting familiar. You'll be on your way like the rest of them soon, no doubt. Anyway, to business, I'll pay for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more. Ooh. Other towns on the islands might pay you different, but while you still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. So let's see what you got. That's pretty much impressive. All right. The mayor standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here, I found this down by the docks. I'm sure someone like you could make use of it. Oh, uh, thank you. Oh, and one last thing. A local shipwright mentioned she might be able to do some modifications to your ship, so you should pay her a visit. Alright, so I like... we've got a storage. Well, that's a nice storage. Cabin, pursuits, visit the fish right. Ew. Okay. Let's go to the fish right. Oh, 26. Jeez, we did really well. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel. In the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is upfront and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. Mostly. 
She shrugs and gestures towards the hole she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, all well above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> Take a look around, just remember the bigger equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Okay, so that's 150. Okay, so we have a coastal. Shadow plus temporary. Interesting. Uh, fishing speed. I think I'm gonna wait it up. What else is there? Repairs is more rusty motors. No nets, lights. 180. I'm not even gonna bother looking at this one. This one's a crack bulb, it's crappy. Alright, I'm gonna actually go out fishing again because I'm a savage. And we need some moolah. Wow, I just missed that rock. Like, just missed it. What was that? Alright, I'm over it already. My heart's about to stop. I'm good. Nope. Okay, tell me about the order. That's cool. They asked for one a golf flounder and one great eel. Just bring them back. You'll have to get a rod that handles shallow water fish. Shipwright should be able to sort that out for you. Okay, this one is... Oh. Alright, so we may have to just get the cheaper rod for now. Let's get some Z's and then we'll go off in the morning. I'm seeing there's like cool lights and all kinds of jazz that I'd like to kind of go and investigate. See, the thing is, I love this game, so feel free to ask me questions. If I do miss something, I'm like so excited about it. Like, I am so addicted to this game and I've been waiting so patiently. Beautiful. Now we're going to have to think. All right, let's start from the top. Okay, we can fit in two more actually. Right, next one. What was it? A flounder and an eel. Where's an eel? You can see them if I remember correctly. No. Oh, there they are. I think that's basically about it, really. I am so loving this game and it's good to be back.
All right, fishmonger. Yes, I do. So there's the eel. Okay, this one's 34. 36, 37. So we'll go this one. 49. We? Oui. Good, good. That should please. Got another order here for a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Don't see many people that only feed at night. All right. So let's sell all of this. We got 181. They are. Oh, we're almost done with our debt, and it's like a day in. That's madness. Yeah, let's have a look at the ship, right? That's so cool. I think we'll probably be done with our debt today. <laughs> Oh well, that was done. Well, it's almost night time. I don't like this at all. I'm hearing so many weird noises around me, it's freaking me out so bad. Oof. I'm sorry, I saw that under the water and I just had a heart attack. What the hell is that? Yeah, we got a black grouper. Okay, I'm I'm getting out of here. Like that was just I've been so lucky this round, it's it's quite shocking. A floating boy, it serves to mark safe passage past. Alright. Dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. That's cool. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops from distance away and looks at you with a concern and visible apprehension. Uh. Why are you here? Well, we actually came to fish. We saw Angler wanted. Uh. There's nothing here for someone like you. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Oh, the mayor. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards what uh, little Marrow would like you to give this package to the dark water there? Dark worker there, please. Absolutely. The mayor hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping lightly. The dark water, I mean, the dark worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick. I don't want it to spoil. Don't for check, forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. La la la. Not sure what's happening with the words today, but it's kind of funny. I do indeed, sir. We've been incredibly lucky. Actually, no, wait, wait, wait. I want that one back. It wants 19, 21, 23. So we'll give the smallest ones. 90? <sighs> 
I didn't think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. I'll let you know when I get more orders in. For now, on to business as usual. Um, remaining day at five. Well, let's get some sleep so we can calm our spirits down. What's in our cabin pursuit? Deliver the package. Wait for more orders. All right. Deliver the package. I know it's just across the way. Yeah, I thought so. Encyclopedia. Yes, yeah, some new ones. And we are good to go. Let's go, let's go. Love this game. Gosh, this is a slow little boat. Oh, there's another bottle. to do so little time <laughs> oh dock worker hmm what a delivery let's see here he tears the small hole in the paper and peeks inside you can't say it for sure but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view mm. yeah nice and fresh this will do nicely i'm to pay you i suppose you are indeed. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks ago, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls the crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be. Oh, there's a trader. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Oh. Hello. Is that... No, uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. I'll purchase any special trinkets you may have. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? No. And then my storage. Okay, cool. So the storage follows you wherever. That's really good to know. And then research. Ooh. Coastal Ancello. It's oceanic. Oh, that would be nice. Mangrove. Volcanic Ancello so pretty so basically covers all of them this is bustle and haddle wow all right that's oceanic crystal shallow so these two would probably be perfect because they'd cover everything man do we have a long way to go all right, hydraulic. I had to. Okay, let's go. Okay, what are you? Interesting. I think perhaps I can fit in. Oh, it's done anyway. Let's make our way back. What are you guys?
All right. God, I've been so lucky. Hmm, that's not gonna work. So we can catch one more, I reckon. That's unfortunate. But it is what it is. Hoping to pop out again. Where did we see that other bustle? Did we get it? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cabin, cabin. We got a book, right? On shelf. All right, so we select selected an end active book. Last time to read. Okay, cool. So now we'll be learning that. All right, fishmonger. How much? One. Wow. So these are... That's 59. 55. That's good. The bay is walking towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with a spring in his step. Fantastic news. Thanks partly to your efforts. Greater merit is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is optional again. I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger's services. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. I'm glad you've chosen to be here with us. Gosh, we're kicking some ass. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment and even superior holes. Um, I know we need a dredge to get the materials. Finding materials will allow you to upgrade vessel. Got it. Uh. Plenty of decent materials around the coast from various shipwrecks and like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what you need. Oh, beautiful. And plus some money. An extra light. Four net spaces. What is that? Oh, bolt of cloth. Oh my gosh, we've got so much to do. All right, let's go fishmonger. I think we've sold everything we brought in. Crab pots. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, fiddler crab and a common crab. I found this book out back could be useful to you. Well, we've got enough money. Let's get another one. At least. And let's go. And now we just move to nice. What are you guys? I am being incredibly naughty. What is that noise? It is insanely worrisome. Creepy little ghost boat. <clears throat> Look at the 
those rocks? All right, I'm over it. Look at this. This is freaking me out. I'm actually getting the shivers. So I think that means we're incredible in massive panic, I guess. What is the shiny? Oh, the lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of the structure, a vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose? Exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. Oh, wrong way. I don't like that it does that. Well, we got a fish at least. Hmm. Oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, taking frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. <sighs> Don't let yourself get too worn. We'll need you well rested to provide for this town. And that's another 32. Nice. Well, let's get some rest because this guy's about to lose his mind. A bit better. He's still freaking out, though. Alright. Okay. So that helps. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Money, money, money. Okay, I still don't want to go up too far. And that doesn't look like fish at all. Oh, there's the bottle. I love how if you look in the to the right, the buoy's light is just kind of doing its thing. All right, Kevin, almost 66 and messages. 21st, we had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Merrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is some of a concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat remaining renaming ceremony. He is paranoid, but he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never seen him to be so superstitious. Oh, pursuits, one common crab and one fiddler crab, encyclopedia we're not going to go much into. All right, so let's go fishing. Oh, come on. It's still medium stock, that's great. And now low, I think this could be perhaps the last one. Ah, more. Well. 
Oh. I depleted. And it's already late. Well, let's get our high knees back. I do think I may perhaps need to focus on a better engine. Oh. Get two more. One more. And let's get out of here. My nerves are shot. And you wouldn't think so, right? <laughs> I mean, we've already had ghost shippy. It's just all the noises like beneath me. Like I think I'm I'm picturing the Kraken coming out of the deep and just kind of pulling me under. And all the good work I've been doing is just lost. Something slithers into my cargo. Oh, we're pretty full. <sighs> oh. That's cheeky. All right. Gosh, I think we're doing pretty well. Okay, shipwright. Yeah. This is oceanic. That's shallow. That's coastal. Um. And you are shallow, shallow. This is going to be a little bit of a problem. Because we need a rod that can do shallow and coastal. I just want to go to the crab pots and have a look what's in there and then perhaps try sell those or give them in. Oh no. I think that was what the order was for. And then I think we're going to get some rest. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I do. All right. Oh, cool. A 63. Mm. All right, we can definitely buy more here. All right, well, let's get some Z's. How are we doing? Maybe just get a little bit more Z's. There we go. Now a bit better. <laughs> well, we kind of have everything that we possibly... Because we have to keep the rod. I just wish there was one more space, like, over there. Then we could have made everything work. Alright, well, let's go get that one repaired. How are you doing, bud? Another one. Alright. It's, looks like some of your equipment can use then repair all. I think maybe the fishmonger and okay let's do this. I just want to have a look at our cabin. Oh that one's complete so this 10% chance not to reduce fish stocks. Let's start this one. Okay, 
and let's go. I want to change to that. Oh, efficient because I put the crab pots to close, perhaps. Well, let's go grab some eels. I mean, that's good money, I reckon. Oh, that's done. I know I'm probably going to be hanging around a lot in the beginning, kind of here for now. You know, close to the towns. Isn't that fun? All right. I just want to make sure to get as much fish as possible. Yeah, don't panic, bud. Come on. Oh. This is quite stressful. Are we going to go back? Yes, let's go back. No, not dealing with you. Certainly not dealing with you. Look at that cheeky rock. Hmm. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. Hmm. Ah, no. This is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm. I wonder. He runs the fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay for the fish too. I didn't even see how much he paid for it. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so make sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. A once beautiful... I didn't even get to read the... A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of the grotesque fish patterned with delicate crimson thread. I didn't even get to read the kind of description of the grotesque fish, which so sucks. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find more, I hope. We are balling. Oh, creepy. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Hmm. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. If you insist, but let's get some sleep so this poor guy can stop freaking out. 
It's very small. I'm not too sure. Oh, is this? I don't know. No idea. Ah. Damage to your hull is bound to stop engines and such. Okay, from functioning. Be careful near... All right, we will. I promise, I promise. But there is no repairs that need to be done, so I think we are fine. I've slept way too long. What the actual is going on here? Maybe they're all too close, or I'm not sure. Hmm. I have one final request for you. I've seen, as you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. What do you think will happen to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? Well, definitely not nothing. I'm not so sure about sick. Perhaps they will get sick. But I can certainly think they may go nuts. Let's go sick. <laughs> well, perhaps. I want to know for sure. So you want to know for sure. You're nuts. Yeah. 614. That's like the best ever. Okay. I'm going to rest. I wasted a full day. Let's go shopping. I mean, well, let's go. So we need to go south. All right. These flounders were good money. Oh, well. They were. <laughs> Yeah, we need to... I want a dredge. That's a medium stock. All right. Dookie. That was not a bad haul. Is this the right place? Well, let us hope. Ah, it is. A ruined. Ah, there's the man. The man is standing in the doorway watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in chrisman. Chris Crimson, what is going on? With silver ribbons. <sighs> you came, good. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths. And curios that occupy the periphery of desire. The periphery, what the? Sorry, guys. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. <sighs> These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proper position is this. 
I will outfit your vessel with equipment and will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Red crane added to inventory. The relics we're looking for are a ring, necklace, watch, music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that may that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Alright. Let's check out the workshop. The workshop looks as though it hasn't been in use for decades. Oh, it's locked. Nice. Alright, um... This is cool though. Blue mackerel. Oceanic. Blue mackerel. Yeah, I think we need better. Better little, what's it called? Motor. Start dredging. Oh, what is that? Worn gold ring. Oh, was that it? Actually, it's too late. Um, we did get some goodies, I think. And we, oh, look at all those crab pots. They're all going ape. I really should have actually maybe put them a little further apart. Is this one... Oh, we need to pick it up. We need to repair it. All right. Well, we'll come back now. Wow, everyone's gone eight. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around? She eyes you suspiciously. Hmm. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. So if you look for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. Have you heard of any strange things happening? I see plenty of strange things from atop the lighthouse. Sometimes I don't know whether or not I can trust my own eyes. She holds a lantern up so that it shines brightly into your face. Mm. Are you really standing here in front of me? Or is this just another of the fog's tricks? I can relate, babe. I can relate because we've seen some weird rocks and stuff already. Mm. I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. I watched a natural light glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. Babe, I was just as scared. At least you're up on your lighthouse. You key muppet. A boulder? You approach a woman sitting on the dark side, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What is it like out there? At night it's horrible, but during the day it's lovely. It's got to be the damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward, moving along. Well, we don't know what his backstory is or our backstory. I can't go back. I don't want to move along. And it's not so bad here. I think it's not so bad here. 
She's gazing out to the sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need. I can make a new space for myself out there. You'll be welcome to visit too. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have everything. I'll pay you when the job's done. I see why not. That's so cool. We've got so much goodies now. Okay, let's go to the shipwright. And then... I wonder did I do that for. Okay, I just want to go put out those... Crab pots again. All right. It's 10 in the evening. Let's go get some rest. What is it, anything? Motors, rusty. Two hours plus ten knots. That's fourteen knots. Why is this one a peculiar engine? All right. Well, we kind of need to go slightly faster, and I got more than enough money. Once it's installed, no refunds. Oh. Okay. Well, let's get some sleep and then I think dredging seems to be our only way. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I actually want to shoot straight behind this island. Maybe I should have bought another motor boat or motor. All right, so she wants us to go north. Well, let's perhaps sort out the builder. Oh, I've messed that up. Like I've just messed up three hours. <laughs> I want to dredge things. Yeah, I don't want to waste my money on like the worse equipment. Like I really want to kind of spend and save up and do all the, oh my gosh, how slow are we? I get the better equipment. Ooh, dredge. Oh, we got earrings. All right. That's very kind, very kind. Well, that seems like fish. Oh, wow. I would like to dredge here, please.
Okay, I'm gonna go straight to the stock over here. And I'm gonna sleep. That little shippy sucks. We're not even looking or listening to that other little crazy boat thing. All right, guys. I'm going to call it there for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comment section what you think of this game. I am so invested, committed. This is my jam. So for the next couple of days, I think everyone's just going to get sick of dredge, really. But that's perfectly fine. I've also put the link down below so you can go and check it out for yourself. This is really such a good game, guys. Awesome. Take it easy, wherever you are. Peace and love. Mon, signing off.